all right in this video I want to show you how you can fix a texture or shading glitch that sometimes happens in blender when rendering in cycles and for the most part this only happens whenever you're dealing with particle simulations or physics simulations things where there's a lot of dynamic stuff going on in your scene all right now I rendered this little uh, sequence out and I did this I did it at a low resolution so I can get it done pretty quickly but essentially this shows the glitch and if I scroll through this every once in a while you see one of these blocks the texture changes or the block will disappear see that white one right here right here if I go through it real slow you can see it actually disappears then it comes back disappears again and if I scroll through even further you can see that other ones do it and the same ones doing it over and over but there's other ones that are doing it too it's kind of sporadic and it seems like there's no rhyme or reason to it it's all random but I figured out why or what's why it's doing it or how to fix it but I don't know exactly what the deal is but this right here is the same animation but it's the higher resolution version that I'm going to be actually uploading later and you can see I'll scroll through this and you don't see the same glitch and the reason why is because I basically fixed it now let me show you what the glitch is or what's causing it down here in the render settings if you go to the performance tab there is a final render tab that has a checkbox for persistent data generally speaking if you are rendering like an interior scene or something with a whole lot of objects but there's not a lot of dynamic motion going on meaning that it's not like particle physics or uh, rigid body physics you can turn this on make sure you can leave a check on persistent data and it will render quicker because it's not having to reload all this data back into the GPU for each frame but in a case like this where you the data is essentially changing because the objects in the scene are changing because it's a physics scene then you need to uncheck the persistent data if you don't you will get that same glitch that I just showed you a few minutes ago so if you are getting that shading glitch or that texture glitch then if you uncheck persistent data that will almost certainly go away but anyway I figured I'd show it to you because I'm sure I'm not the only person who's had this issue before in the past but if you have any questions let me know later people